Now, Snapchat can be a little confusing. This is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. And in this video, I'm going to give you a, a tour of the Snapchat app. When you open Snapchat, this is what you see. This is the home screen. You see yourself or you see what's behind you depending on how you have the camera flipped. Now, I'm going to guide you through this home screen, your profile screen, and some other screens so that you can, familiar, you can be familiar with the different sections of the app. So on this screen, I will see a number of icons, a number of things. The first thing I want to point out is this right here, this round button, and this button is the record button. I can take a picture with it or I can record a video. At the top here, I'm going to see this icon which allows me to flip the camera. If I click on it, you will see what is behind the phone as opposed to in front of it. All right, so this is for me taking a selfie and that one, if I flip it around, it's for me to show what's in front of me. Then over here, we have flash. If I click on that, when I take a picture, the screen will actually lighten up and, and it, it'll be like a flash coming from the screen. A number of other things over here, we have this icon that tells me if I have any personal messages. And over here, that allows me to go to the next screen over there, which is my story screen, and I'll get to that in a minute. So the first thing I wanna do is go to this one because this Snapchat icon here is very important. It takes me to my profile screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it right now. And there you go. This is my profile screen. It has my profile name. It tells me a number of other details. I can add friends. I could see who's added me. I could see who are my friends. And then there are a number of other things. We're gonna walk through all of these in more details in, in more detail in later tutorials. But for now, I just, I'm just giving you a tour. Up here to the corner right, that is to get to my settings. I'm going to click on that and I can see all of the settings related to my account from just the account settings to additional services to privacy and more information and all that stuff. I'm going to click on this icon to the top left to get back to the previous screen. At the top here in the middle, I see a trophy and I'm going to go ahead and click on that trophy. This is my trophy case where I earn different trophies for different activities. So for example, this one right here says I've sent 50 video snaps. Woohoo! Exciting. This one over here says my Snapchat score has hit a thousand. Great. And so on and so forth. Now, what are these others? We don't know and they don't tell us. You kind of unlock it as you go. So the more active you are, the more trophies you earn. I'm going to go ahead and go back. And then I'm going to show you over here to the left where I can click on this question mark and it will show me how to add someone by using their snap code. Now, I'm gonna actually show you this process so we don't have to worry about that. I just tapped on the screen and I'm gonna tap on this arrow at the bottom to get out of the profile screen. That was your profile screen. Now, at the bottom, the bottom right over here, you're gonna see these three little bars. That takes me to the screen to the right, and that is my story screen. Now, there's another way to get to it. I can literally just touch my screen and swipe to my left. All right, so I'm gonna do that right now, and you're gonna see that it's gonna do the exact same thing. This is my story screen. This is my favorite screen of them all. There are a number of things that are found here. At the top, there is my story. For you, it's gonna be your story. This is gonna be all of the snaps that you've created over the last 24 hours. Specifically, it's gonna be the, the snaps that you add to your story. So if someone is following you, they get to follow your story. The next section here is the discover section, where you get to see content that has been curated by brands and companies that are paying for prime real estate within Snapchat. So I can swipe through and see them, or I can hold my screen and swipe it all to the left, and here I see the Discover screen that shows me all of the brands that are featured in the Discover section, and these brands are paying for this exposure. So for example, if I'm interested in food, I can click on the Food Network, 
and then it's gonna tell me a bunch of things that they have curated for example this is seven japanese foods that i didn't know i was pronouncing wrong so I, if I want to read, you see at the bottom here, there's this icon that tells me, hey, if I scroll up, I can read this particular article. All right. So now I can read this article. And who knew that this is not Kobe beef, it's Kobe beef. Hey, I just learned something new from Snapchat Discover. I'm going to scroll back down. And then if I want to see the next story, I'm going to swipe to the left. All right, spring fashion. Okay, so this looks like something I can install. It's an ad. So I'm going to click on here just to show you. It takes me to the app store and I can install this app. I'm going to scroll more to the left. And what is this about? I don't know. It looks like something to do with cooking. If I want to watch it, I'm going to swipe up and now I can watch this video. All right, so I'm going to scroll back down and get out of this by holding down on the screen and swiping down. I'm back to the Discover screen, and now I'm going to go back by clicking on this arrow at the top left, and I'm back on my story screen. Now, I can also see what's going on live. There are certain events that are featured on Snapchat, and if I'm at that event, I can contribute my own snaps to that live event. So for example, uh, which one of these looks interesting? A dream vacation, I wanna go on one of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. I tapped the first time and it loaded. I'm gonna tap again. And now I am seeing all of these snaps from this dream vacation, whatever that is. Looks very interesting. If I wanna explore similar snaps, I can swipe up. And I can continue exploring. Ooh, Grenada. Nice island in the Caribbean. Love it. Now I'm going to swipe back up, uh, down, I mean, to get fully out of that. And then I'm going to go to the next section. These are my the recent updates. So these are the people that I follow that have posted to their story. And I can see what's going on with them. For example, let's see what Ted Rubin has to say. Oh, man, he's in Pompano Beach. Hey, Ted, what are you doing, man? I'm in freezing Michigan. I don't want to see this. Actually, I kind of do. <laughs> Fun stuff. And I can, if I want to see, I want to move to the next one, I can just tap the screen and it will take me to his next snap and his next snap and his next snap. Ted, you're making me jealous. So I'm going to... Hold the screen and swipe down once again to get out of that. And you can see I can go through all of the people that I'm following and see what they've posted to their stories. Let's see what Mike Stelzner has to say. Meeting with my social team to talk about all sorts of different social networks, including Ooh, I like it. All right, I'm going to hold and swipe down. Get out of that snap. This is the story screen. This is where all the magic happens. You share your story. You discover what brands have to offer. You see what's going on live, and you see the stories of all the people that you are following. Ooh, Sean Duras just posted something. He always posts very interesting snaps. All right, now I'm going to swipe to the right to get back to my home screen because there's one more screen I have to show you. And I'm going to swipe to the right again or I'm going to press this little icon down here. I'm going to go ahead and do the swiping. Now this is where I'm able to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with individuals. So these are people that have either sent me snaps or I've sent them snaps and then we can have an ongoing conversation. Now if, for example, I wanted to send a snap back to Brian Fonzo, I can swipe to the right with by his name and I can either type it in via text hey dude or I can press this button over here to make a video that goes along with my hey dude now I'm not gonna go ahead and do this right now but this is where you would make that happen
So I'm going to go back to my home screen, and there you have it. That's a brief tour of the Snapchat app. I hope it makes sense to you. You understand the different areas. In the later tutorials, I'm going to show you to how to do all of the different things that you can do within Snapchat. So that's it for this video. This is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com, where we're changing the world one blog at a time. And until next time, take care and God bless.